Continuing our coverage of Big Ten Hockey here on Big Ten Hockey Media Days, we're joined by Minnesota senior forward and now two-time captain of the Gophers, Justin Kloos. Justin, let's start there. You'll wear the C for a second straight year, part of a leadership group that obviously will be very important to this team. What does that mean to you to be a captain for two years in a row? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just as, as thrilled as I was last year about uh, being a captain again. Uh, we got a really strong core uh, leadership group this year with uh, five or six seniors. So uh, I'm really looking forward to, you know, the ups and downs throughout the year and uh, seeing how this team uh, meshes together. Obviously ups and downs last year as well. And I would guess the biggest disappointment was coming up that one win short of reaching the NCAA tournament. What was the conversation like in the locker room among the guys in the days following that loss when you didn't get the NCAA invite? Uh, yeah, that was uh, certainly the most difficult thing. Uh, it was just, you know, time to get back to work kind of conversation. Uh, right away we knew, you know, which guys were leaving for pro, which guys wanted to stick around and get back to work with the team. So uh, we just knew that, you know, at this program that's uh, an unacceptable result and we're just biting at the bit to get to the start of the next season. Individually, how strange will it be for you to not see some of the guys you mentioned as the guys you knew were going pro, Michael Brodzinski, Hudson Fashing, they're guys who you've spent a lot of time with over the past three years. Yeah, obviously it'll be different. You know, I stood up in so many games, uh, being able to, you know, look, uh, you know, on a wing and Fash would be there and back on the blue line, Brodzinski would be there. But, uh, you know, I'll, you'll mi I'll miss a lot, obviously, the relationships I built with them as friends. But uh, we brought in a bunch of, you know, Solid freshman that will help, and I think that this freshman from last year will take a step, so uh, I think we'll be uh, good to go on the ice. There were so many freshmen, Justin, that played minutes last year, and significant minutes because this roster needed them to do that. How much more mature do you believe they can be this year, and how much of a key will that sophomore class be to your success? Yeah, they'll definitely be a big key to our success. You know, they, like you said, stepped right in and played big minutes, and a lot of them will play a you know, maybe even bigger minutes this year with some of them, uh, you know, transitioning to penalty killers uh, that might not have been in it last year and stuff like that. So we're going to need them to take a step, just like we're going to need, uh, you know, us uh, seniors uh, to take a step. And uh, we're going to need the freshmen to jump right in and be effective. So, you know, everyone just has to come together and, uh, you know, maybe uh, do a little more than they did last year. For you individually, what type of goals are you setting this season? Um, you know, it's hard to, you know, put a pinpoint on a thing like goals and assists and points. Uh, you just want to play, you know, your best night in and night out. For me, uh, last year I just got off to a really slow start, which, uh, you know, was kind of was most disappointing, especially in being so uh, pumped for the season. So uh, just being consistent throughout the year with my play, and uh, I think everything will fall into place. One of the biggest pieces of news regarding Big Ten hockey and college hockey in general came this past March when it was announced that Notre Dame starting next year will join the Big Ten. I know you won't have the chance to face the Irish as a conference opponent, but what do you think about that move by the league? Yeah, I think it's awesome. Um, I think the Big Ten uh, is uh, growing. It'll be one of the best leagues, uh, you know, in the years to come for sure. And adding Notre Dame, uh, you know, a team that's already good and has some tradition and, uh, you know, we're pretty familiar with them. I've played there, I think, every year since I've been in college. And uh, uh, I think that'll be uh, good for the league just to expand a little bit and get uh, some new faces around the league. We're talking to you right after you're finishing up one of your classes. You're a two-time academic All-Big Ten honoree. Why is it so important for you to succeed, not just on the ice, but inside the classroom as well? Yeah, academics are obviously important. Uh, coming here, you know, you... you as all hockey players, you want to play forever, but uh, realistically, you gotta, you know, have something to fall back on. So, uh, getting into good, good degree and doing my work and uh, getting through the classroom stuff is part of the deal. So, uh, I've been fortunate enough to be surrounded by, uh, you know, good people uh, here at the U that help you with the academics when you need it, and uh, so far, it's been success. I spoke with Coach Lucia, and he mentioned the same thing. All the help and support that you guys get and the resources that you get to succeed academically. Could you tell me a little bit more about that aspect of it? Um, yeah, it's, uh, so we have an, an academic advisor there, you know, specifically for hockey. So if we have any questions, we go straight to him, and he can help us with our uh, advisor through our major and uh, the school, the specific school we're in. But then also when it comes to tutoring and study hours, 
Uh, you come into the program uh, required to do a specific amount of study hours, so you really, uh, as a freshman, get a good base of how much work you need to put in to, you know, do success or be successful in college. How much do you think they relate to each other? Success in the classroom, eventually relating to success on the ice or in whatever sport that student athlete may be playing? Yeah, I think uh, there's definitely uh, parallels as far as work ethic and discipline. Sometimes you come to practice and it's a day where you're just not feeling it, whatever, you're tired or, you know, your mind's not there and you just got to battle through that. And that certainly happens in the classroom where you would, would love to be somewhere else, but you just got to do it and uh, get over with and uh, make sure that you get your schoolwork done. All right, finally, for a lot of folks out there, they can't believe we're just a couple of weeks away from hockey season starting. Is it the exact opposite for you guys who are probably chomping at the bit at this point? Yeah, we're ready to go. It's uh, kind of been a long uh, four or five months since last season ended, and uh, we're just uh, pumped to see what happens this season, and the journey is going to be an exciting one. I couldn't be more stoked for my senior year. Justin Kloos, Minnesota senior forward and go for captain for the 2016-17 season. Justin, as always, appreciate the time. Wish you best of luck this season. All right. Thanks, Rick.